You're listening to the Small Business Talk podcast with Kathy Smith. Episode 2. Small Business Talk is a podcast for business owners and entrepreneurs who want a better way to run their businesses without spending years doing it the hard way. Small Business Talk is hosted by Kathy Smith, who has run the same marketing agency for more than 17 years and helped hundreds of business owners achieve their marketing goals. Hey, I'm so glad you could join us. Today, we're going to talk about networking. How to reduce the fear factor of networking. So let's get started. Networking. You've either got it or you haven't, right? No. Networking is a skill, just like any other skill, and you can learn it. You can build on it and you can improve it. Unlike most skills, it comes better with practice. Networking. Oh, yuck. Moving into a room full of strangers and having to talk to them. My worst nightmare. Yep, I'm with you. I used to dread having to go to networking events. So much so that I actually book my networking events in advance. And then on the day when it comes, I've already paid for my ticket and I'm committed to go. But most of those days, I see it in my diary and go, oh, what did you do that for? Really want to go to that? Once I get there, I normally have a good time and it's not nearly as scary as I thought it would be. But majority of the time, before I go, I really wish that I hadn't booked it in advance, which is exactly why I do book it in advance, so that I do make myself go. Otherwise, I'd just stay home and not go out at all. I used to be the world's worst networker. Well, maybe not the world's worst, but not very good at it. I would either walk into a room and have a fistful of business cards and try to give everybody in the room my business card. And of course, that didn't work. The other thing I would do is I'd walk in and hide in the corner and hope that nobody actually came and talked to me. And the third thing I did was walk in see who I knew, particularly people I knew well, walk up to them and just stay there for the whole night or the afternoon or whatever the event was. All of these three things were absolutely useless for my networking. Maybe a good catch up with a mate, but I could do that at a different time. If I really wanted to use networking for my business, then I needed to get better at it. Have you ever done any of these things? What is your bad networking habit that you tend to fall back into? Here's my three business networking tips. People do business with people. People do business with people they know, like and trust. And one of the ways that they can get to know you is at a networking event. So tip number one, don't work the room. Aim to meet two or three people for the event. Possibly reconnect with somebody you've met before that you don't know very well or meet somebody completely different. When you meet those people, when you go up to talk to them, listen, actively listen to what they're saying. Be present. Be watching what they're doing, watching their body language, not just trying to get the conversation over so you can get out of there. And don't be one of those people that are having a conversation and then looking behind them, around them and everywhere else. If there is a need to do that for a specific reason, if you're waiting for somebody to come that you've invited as a guest or something like that, let the person know. Say, excuse me, I'm just going to glance over your shoulder from time to time because I'm waiting for a guest to arrive and I don't want them to feel left out. But please don't think I'm not listening to what you're saying. And if you let them know what's going on, then that breaks that awkwardness and everybody's much more contented. Tip number two, have a few questions prepared that you can ask. So think about the things that you could ask. If it's a business event, obviously, what business are you in? If they've got a name badge with their business written on it, you could ask them what their business name means. Or if it says accountant, you could say, how long have you been an accountant? Do you specialise in a particular area of accountancy and create a conversation that way? And then listen to what they say. 
And if they say that their accountant and that their area of specialty is self-managed super, then you could possibly ask a couple of questions about that. But let them talk. Don't be just listening so that you can wait to have your turn to talk. You can wait to ask your next question. Actually listen to the answers that they're giving you. And try to let them do most of the talking. That way, they will start to feel a bit of a connection to you. People like to be listened to. And my third tip is follow up. So if you have made a bit of a connection with this person and you're interested in what they're saying, genuinely interested, you could ask for their business card. If they're interested in you or they ask, you could give them your business card. So now that you have the business card, after you finish talking to them, preferably after you leave the event, write down a couple of things on the back of that business card about what you spoke about. So you could say for the accountant example, self-managed super, really likes to help clients with investments in property. The next day, email that person and say, Hey Joe, it was really nice to meet you last night at X event. I'm so glad to hear that you're into self-managed super and help people with investment properties. Hope to catch up with you again sometime. Regards. Don't try to sell them anything. Just send them an email to say that you listened to their conversation, you acknowledged that you met them at a particular event, and just basically saying hi, and then leave it at that. Then the next time you go to an event and you see them, go and say hi. If you've got those business cards, a really good idea, bonus tip, is to pull them out before you go to the next event. Have a look at the person's name, where they're from, and what you talked about. And that way, it will be a memory jogger, so that when you go to the next event and you see them, you'll remember who they are and what you talked about. And over time, then you won't have to be checking the cards because you'll get to know them. Now, I really still have to work at going to networking events and I really still have to work at being present and listening. But a lot of people have told me I've done it quite well. So sometimes you just need to have confidence in yourself. You can do it. It is a skill and if you continue to practice, you'll do better. And on those times where you do drop back into old habits and you just go and see somebody you know or hide in the corner or whatever bad networking habit you have, don't beat yourself up. Just make a note of it, mental note, go, okay, next time I won't do that. Last year, I joined a new networking group, a group that's 150 kilometers away from where I live. So I didn't know anybody. And that was a really good exercise for me. It pushed me out of my comfort zone, but I really had to hone my networking skills so that I could talk to people. I was driving an hour and a half to the event and an hour and a half home afterwards. So I had to make it count not to mention my business time as well. Out of that new club that I've joined, I did do well. I have got clients from there because I made myself get out of my comfort zone, stop being the little introvert that I like to be and actually going connecting with people. Networking done well can be very good for your business because people like to deal with people they know, like and trust. And meeting you face to face Having a chat with you is one of the quickest ways to break those barriers down. Networking doesn't have to be as scary as you think it's going to be. I hope you enjoyed these tips on networking and will think about using them. And stay tuned for next week where we speak to a wellness coach who had a stroke at 35 and now helps her clients empower themselves to make better choices so they can have better businesses. Thank you very much. I'm Kathy Smith. Enjoy the ride. Don't forget to subscribe to Small Business Talk podcast and head on over to smallbusinesstalk.com.au forward slash downloads for all the show notes and links to this episode. Remember, to be great, you must start. Pick one tip from today's episode, take action and implement it. Let's meet again next week at the same time and place. Until then, take action. And SBT community, enjoy your journey.